Good morning, my second day in Strepsky Plesho. I am going to do the Blue Trail. My landlady or hotel host, whatever you want to call her, in her broken English, said this is a good hike. It's looking like it doesn't go up in the mountains, that it goes across the hill looking down the valley. But I'll take her word for it. She said it was two hours each way. If it's no good, then I'll do that hour and 15 hike up the mountain I did yesterday, which was very nice. So my starting point is the Hotel Kempinski, which is that hotel behind me. And some clouds have popped up, but I bought a parka, so I should be okay as far as that goes. Let's get started. Yeah, no dice for the blue trail. This is Hungary. I could do this in Hungary. I came here for the mountains. So only five minutes in, but I'm going to turn around and go back towards the mountains. So I'll see you from the mountain. Decided on the red trail to Podraski Plesho. One hour, five minutes, and maybe, probably Ostra, Ostraba. Two hours, five minutes. No idea what that is. But also going the way of the lakes of love. Sounds exciting. So that is this way. Let's see what we have. About 15 minutes in. And I can see we're going up the mountain to the right. We're climbing slowly. Down here is the ski slope and the little village. I walked up that ravine yesterday. And this is the trail so far. Conifer forest. Rocky trail bed. It's not like the other ones. It's not a drainage stream for when it rains. Even though it is a bit muddy. Uh, someone seems to be leaving a trail of tissues, which I don't understand, but maybe they thought the trail would disappear. Uh, at least tissue's better than plastic. It's paper. Yeah, here's one. Someone really has a runny nose. Never understood what's so difficult about pack it in, pack it out. If you brought it in, bring it back out. It's not hard. Anyway. Oh, got a railing. Hmm. Let's see. Leveled off a bit. It's been uphill the whole way so far. Ah, it's not that bad. That doesn't need a railing. You can survive that. Opened up into an open area that is quite beautiful. Very beautiful. I have a running waterfall on the far end. Don't think you'll be able to see it with the GoPro. The sunlit valley over here. And I was hoping to get a bit higher today. Climb some of the way to Rissi. But the building clouds are putting the kibosh on that. Whoop, whoop. It's a rocky trail. I mean, I'd risk it. Not all the way to the top, but a ways. Don't fear death, especially as boring as life is now. With everyone staring at their smartphones and getting fake news from Twitter and Facebook and all their fake friends online, Instagram and all that garbage. It's quite boring now. But I promised my parents I wouldn't die before them, so I can't commit suicide by going up a mountain in a storm. So probably just go a little bit further and then turn back. This is Podradsky Plesho, about one hour and five minutes from the start of my hike. And again, it's another beautiful spot. The temperature has dropped a few degrees, so it's a little bit chilly, but worth it. Now to decide where to go next. Feeling good, not tired. If I should head up towards Risky or maybe go that way, straight ahead, walk around the lake. Unknown, see what happens. Oh, there is a little cafeteria or restaurant. Looks like a hotel as well. So be a good escape for a couple. Came a hundred meters up, but the storm is almost upon me. 
some thunder in the distance. There's the lake and the hotel. And there are five Polish people next to me trying to figure out if they want to keep going up or go down, looking at their phones, I guess, looking at the weather. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Storm's coming. <laughs> so that's a wrap. I think I'll go down to that lake restaurant, have lunch, and then head back, probably in the rain. So I'll see you from there. Well, that's a good thing I decided to come back. It is really coming down. And here's what I look like when I made it to the restaurant. So it's turned into a hill. Place is packed. Obviously, everyone's come here for protection. I've seen uh, rock climbers, cyclists, hikers. It took a while to get my food, but I got pierogies. Yes, and a beer. Finished lunch. The pierogies were good. The bacon wasn't bad. It wasn't good, but it wasn't bad. Uh, obviously, still raining quite a bit. But time to go home. So, here we go. I love this. So much more fun than when it's simple and easy. I think I'm wired backwards. When I have an easy life, money, nothing to do, free time, I'm the most stressed. Situation like this, I feel at peace. In even more stressful situations, I feel amazing. So, yeah, if anyone has a job out there that's stressful, Please put a comment. I'll take it. I'd love it. Uh, as you can hear, the thunder. Yeah, it's every couple seconds now. So I have um, about an hour to go. And should be great. Last time I walked in the rain, my backpack got soaked. I thought it was waterproof. It's not. So glad I have the raincoat for that. So no worries. This is easy. I am loving the Slovak attitude. I would live here in a heartbeat if it wasn't for the food. Going down the hill, passing families coming up, passing senior citizens, passing teenagers wearing shorts and t-shirts. They, they don't care. <laughs> this is normal. There's a mountain and it's got to be climbed. Doesn't matter what's going on. I love that. No, oh, it's raining. We can't go outside and looking for excuses to stay inside. Nope, let's go. Rain, who cares? Yeah, I love it. It's great. The trail's flooded. Uh, my pants are soaked. I thought they were water resistant. They are not. They're sucking in every drop. My boots, luckily. Feet, toasty and warm. Nice. At least I have high quality boots. So I might have to go buy some rain pants tomorrow. And getting back to my place sadly has nothing I'm just gonna have to dry off and lay in bed but tomorrow I move to a hotel with a swimming pool spa hot tubs bathtub in the room I think restaurant a real hotel with a wellness center so that'll be much better if it rains again come back and relax in a nice warm spa so still have about half an hour down I think and then, hey, hey. oh yeah, I've almost fallen and busted my head three times, but that just makes it more exciting. And that is a wrap from Stripsky Pleso to Paparadsky Pleso. A little bit further, but barely. It was beautiful. I wish the weather had held out longer. I was feeling good today. Could have gone quite a bit further. But it is what it is. It was good as is even though it's not even 1 30 yet so i don't know what i'm going to do for the rest of the day and in strepsky pleso it has pretty much stopped just to drizzle now so that's it until tomorrow thank you for watching bye